you're heading to Japan, you probably have heard of the Suica prepaid rechargeable smart card. The Super Urban Intelligent Card, or Suica, is one of the most popular IC or intelligent cards in Japan, making it a must-have if you're visiting. It's used for train and bus travel, as well as for various types of cashless payments at convenience stores, betting machines, lockers, and more. What's great about Suica is its convenience and helping to avoid fumbling for coins or working out complex transit costs. In this video, we'll show you how to add a Suica to your iPhone and top it up, and also introduce a workaround to use Apple Pay for blocked international visa credit cards. This is now even more important, as Japan Rail has stopped selling the physical smart cards due to integrated chip shortages. Now that you know what Suica is, let's see how you can add it to your iPhone. First, open the Wallet app and look for the plus button. Select Travel Card and tap on it and then search for Suica. There are two ways to add a Suica either creating a new virtual card or transferring a physical card. To create a new virtual card, follow the prompts to create one and then top it up. You will need to be able to top it up to create the card. However, for those with an international visa credit card, like me, who get the payment not completed error and cannot create and top up through the wallet, I'll explain a workaround shortly. If you have a physical card with credit, you can also transfer this card to your phone. A warning though, this will be irreversible and your physical card will no longer work. If you don't need your physical card anymore, you can hand it back to a JR counter to get your 500 yen deposit back. Hold your physical card to the back of the phone and then let the device scan it. It'll prompt you to confirm and then you're good to go. There are still ongoing issues with using Apple Pay for Suica with non-Japanese Visa credit cards. However, there is a workaround to allow international Visa cards to create and top up Suicas. First, go to the App Store and search for the Suica app. If the app is not available in your region, you will need to either create an App Store account within the Japanese region or change your region to Japan temporarily. Otherwise, if it is there, download from the App Store. Unfortunately, Japan Rail has not created an English version of the app, so I'll translate and take you through some of the screens and buttons that you need. To add a card, look for the plus symbol in the top right hand side and tap it. Now there are three options, which include a Suica that is registered against your name, a travel pass, or a simple unregistered Suica. We're going to pick the one furthest to the right and select the green button at the bottom, Hakko Tezuzuki, to issue the card. You'll see a warning to let you know that if you select an unregistered Suica, you will have limited support including refunds in the event of any issues or a loss of card. If you're happy with this, select the top right green text, Tsugiye, which means next and select the option to the right to agree to the Suica Terms of Use. You will now need to top up some initial credit. In the next screen, you are asked to select the charge amount, charge kingaku. Click the green text on the right, and there is a minimum top up of 1000 yen. Select the amount that you wish to add, and then click on the Apple Pay button to pay. Authorize the payment, which can then be an international Visa credit card, and then you'll now have created a card. If you have an Apple Watch, select the wallet where you want the card to go. Click Next and then add the card and agree to the Apple Pay terms and conditions for Suica and the card will be added to your wallet. The screen says Suica no hakko ga kanryo shimashita which means the issuing of the Suica card is complete. Tap OK. As you can see, there is a new second card added to my Suica app with 1000 yen credit. And this is also available in the Wallet app. If you're interested in using an Apple Watch, check out my other video on how to use Suica with the Apple Watch. With your Suica added to your iPhone, you're all set to start using it. But what happens if your balance runs low? First, via the Wallet app. Just like before, open your wallet and tap on your Suica. Here you'll see an option to add money. Tap on it. Select the amount that you want to add and then review and confirm the payment. You can use your Apple Pay or any linked payment method to top up your Suica. However, if you have an international Visa card, you will need to do some further workarounds. To do this, open the Suica app. Select the option to charge your Suica, New King, Chargey, which is the green button in the middle bottom. There are two options, one to charge through the app on the left or charge through wallet, which obviously doesn't work for Visa cards. Select the one on the left to charge through the app. 
Unfortunately, this is where it gets a bit tricky, so stick with me. The Suica app requires you to register to be able to charge through the app. Select the green button, Kain Toroku, for account registration. You will need to read the terms of use. Click on the first one, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and select the green text in the top right to accept the terms. Select the remaining document, scroll down, and again, select the green text in the top right. You will now need to register an email address that can receive a confirmation code. Put in your email address and then check your mail to enter in the confirmation code. Click the text in the top right to confirm. Now to complete registration, you'll need to add in some details. First, you need to select a password. You will need an eight to 20 character password with an uppercase, lowercase, number, and two mixed symbols. Although it seemed to work without any symbols for me. The rest of the details don't really matter as you don't need to confirm them. However, you will need to enter something in. First is the surname, so you can add this in katakana or English characters. Then your first name, which again is in katakana or English characters. And then your birthday. And this will be in format with the year, the month, and the days. Then add in your gender. I've selected male. And then postcode. I've added in the Shinjuku postcode of 101856. Finally, add a phone number. I put in 09 and then nine zeros. When you're done, select the green text for finish in the top right corner. Select OK and you will return to the main Suica app screen. Are you still with me? Well, good news, the hard part is over. Select top up the green button in the bottom for new kin chargey. Select the amount that you want to top up 500 yen is the minimum amount. Then click the Apple Pay button and follow the payment authorization prompts. And this will work with an international visa card. You'll see the balance update and you'll now be able to top up with this method anytime. If all else fails, there is also the non-Apple Pay way. Simply find a kiosk which is IC capable and top up. Kiosks that support phones or watches are best identified through the flashing purple lights. Simply rest your phone onto the sensor and wait for the device to be recognized. Follow the prompts to select the desired credit and let the machine do its thing. Don't forget your device or any change. And there are also different devices with bays where you can place the device and these are located both inside the gates and outside stations throughout all main stations. And there you have it. For those without visa cards, adding and topping up to Yosuka is a breeze. For those with visa cards, there is a workaround which takes a bit of time, but it's well worth the effort. Being able to use Suica is a fantastic way to enjoy the convenience of cashless transactions and easy transportation in Japan. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. If you've got any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy travels with your Suica.